In this video, we're going to go over a tip in regards to gutter cleaning, uh, and that's the use of the bucket where we just scoop the debris, right, in the process of cleaning gutters. We're going to take the scooper, the red scooper you see in this picture. We're going to dump it or scoop it into the yellow bucket, um, and this is oftentimes, you know, similar to what you'll see on any given home. It's a lot of roof runoff, um, some leaves, uh, maybe some moss. Usually the combination thereof is what's going to be removed in the process of gutter cleaning. Um, and this is going to find its way into the yard waste can, right? It might be a brown can in the city of Lincoln or a, a green can in the city of Roseville or, you know, any other type of color. Um, uh, just look at the label, look at the top to verify it. You're dumping it into the, into the organics or yard waste, uh, green waste can. Um, but this is also really great to use uh, to showcase what we had done. Um, in the process of gutter cleaning to customers, okay? So oftentimes an interaction is going to go where you're going to knock at the end of the appointment, you took pictures, you cleaned the gutters, you cleaned up, um, and you want to recap everything with the customer to ensure that they're satisfied, uh, that any issues that they were aware of were addressed, uh, etc. Uh, and you can use this yellow bucket with the debris in there to kind of show them, you know, uh, okay, Miss Johnson, in the process of gutter cleaning, it looks like you have a large tree in the front and, you know, a smaller tree in the each corner of the backyard uh, where there was quite a bit of debris in the front where that large tree was and some additional debris uh, in the back corner but that other far corner near your gate it doesn't have a tree and there's less debris in that area so kind of recap with the person what you had seen um, and it's great to show uh, actually what was removed through the yellow bucket or the yellow buckets perhaps especially if it was a lot of debris it's probably best to show um, that oh wow you had two full buckets of debris that's a lot of debris for your size home you know you have a 2,000 square foot home roughly it seems like one story and this is more debris than I would want to see um, so I just really recommend or um, and encourage you you know to keep on top of the gutter cleaning uh, to mitigate any water damage that might occur from uh, neglecting the cleaning because this was a lot of debris this could have easily clogged the downspouts um, and in these areas, I might recommend a gutter stick and you bring up the green stick. So, or, or, you know, that's a sample interaction. Okay. But use the bucket, uh, to kind of show the debris to the customer. Uh, it's just a really, uh, nice touch to be super thorough and, um, give the customer actually something to see, uh, that to validate your cleaning more or less. Uh, but use that in the process of gutter cleaning. Uh, it's a really great tool. Uh, to make sure that that recap, uh, that post-appointment walkthrough, in a sense, goes well. 